Hello and welcome to Retro Games Play Badly. It's Grim Fandango time, let's dance. Ah yes, Manny's quick rise again from floor mopper to someone of power. You could give the guy an ant farm and he'd become their queen. Ensign. Oh dear boys, you're not looking so good, are you? I'm sorry I led you into trouble, sailor. Oh Manny, it's not your fault, unless you change course, in which case it's completely your fault. Oh no. Yeah, it just gets worse further down. Sack him. Oh crap, run Manny, run! Oh god bless you, Gladys! Custom officials, open this door! Like hell you are! Yeah, we wanna check your bags. Don't worry, Captain, we're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Yeah, maybe not that safe, eh, Gladys? Uh, what do I do, what do I do? I think the best way to use this engine would be the controls over there, as opposed to the hands-on method. Manny, now's not the time to be prudish. A severed hand is better than a severed head. Uh, okay, what are we doing here? Did, did that even do anything? What about this way? Didn't seem to change much. Oh, okay, we moved. I can see this is just going to be another one of these trial and error puzzles for me. What about going forward? Surely this wouldn't work because both the anchors are dropped. Yep, seem to do absolutely nothing. Gladys, don't give me that panicked look. We'll get out of here, eventually. I'm assuming this button raises the anchor, right? Yeah, why don't we just raise both the anchors and set sail? I know there'll be other guys on there still, but we can push them off the boat. Now let's get the hell out of here, Gladys. Okay, it didn't work. What if we just shimmy away from the dock? Why won't you shimmy? Any clues, Gladys? Manny, that's not Gladys, that's the button. Manny, stop wallowing in self-pity in the corner. You can get by with a little help from your friends. Ooh, it did something different. But this doesn't help. This just complicates things. Oh, can I get them to like cross over and then, I don't know, capsize the boat? Captain's always supposed to go down with the ship. It wouldn't kill us, so why not? Oh, they're touching each other. I don't know if it's enough to capsize the boat, but we'll find out. Hope you brought your swimsuit, Gladys. You're gonna need it. Oh, okay. That wasn't as I planned it to be. Uh, maybe we can jump on and climb away to freedom? Can't reach. Well, do you still have your handy dandy multi-purpose scythe? This thing kills as many lives as it saves. Okay, so it's only saved one life, but it saved it multiple times. Go on, grab it. Yeah, there we go. Now we can climb away to safety. Well, there you go. I'm sure Gladys can't fit through the pothole, but I'll, I'll come back for you, Gladys, I swear. Can't reach. What do you mean you can't reach? It's right there. They're locked together like plastic monkeys from a barrel. Ah, that's a very nice simile, Manny. I can't even remember the last time I saw plastic monkeys. Toy Story, I guess. Buzz, the monkeys aren't working! We're formulating another plan! I guess I need to formulate another plan then. If we push this button, it'll rip the boat open, won't it? Are we sticking with the original capsizing plan? Gladys, cover your ears. Gladys, you're not covering your ears! I think maybe he's actually enjoying the sound. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. That didn't sink the boat? Well, maybe we can escape through the hole we created. Can't reach. Can't reach or don't want to, Manny. Are we being a good friend and not wanting to leave Gladys behind? What about if we can... Can we jump on the dock from here? Can't reach. No, it doesn't seem like it. If I mess with these anchors anymore, we might go down with the ship. That was kind of my plan, Manny. <laughs> I guess back to the controls then? Full speed ahead? Oh, okay. What? Mr. Anderson, never send a human to do a machine's job. Well, I'm surprised it got as far as it did. And now the captain does go down with his ship. Well, we're not drowning, so I guess that's it. We can start a new life under the sea.
goddess, stop ruining my daydreaming. Manny, choking! Mira, snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say, you don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. I don't think it's gonna be for a little while, goddess. Knowing me, it's gonna be quite a while before you can breathe again. Oh, I think her days of use are over. I told you that name was bad luck. Hey. No, sorry. I think soaring her in half was bad luck. I'd definitely go over there first chance I'd get, but there's a lot of dark water between here and there. Oh, what's the matter, Manny? You're afraid of the dark? You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny, not of the sea. Hang in there, Manu. Yeah, just hang in there about three or four more hours until I work out what we need to do. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself. All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Yeah, here comes one now. What? Where? I only have my scythe to use as defense. Oh. Okay, that might not have been a sea monster, but it was pretty spooky. Manny, how are you smoking underwater? Oh, I can't speak to him from here. He he's gonna come back, right? Can't we just take the light off this and run with it? Oh, I think her days of use are over. Well, not the light. The light's still working. Grab the light. <laughs> well, there he goes. Further and further away. How are you holding up there, Gladys? Ah, he's gone completely. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. We're trapped here now. Again, Manny, with the smoking underwater. But then again, we ripped a boat in half and sailed away with half a boat. So is smoking underwater really that strange? Oh, is he coming back? Oh, quick, speak to him. No. Amigo, hey, I'm talking to you. You ignoring us? Oh, now we have to wait for him to cycle all the way back round again. Oh, he's back again. Quick, Manny, speak to him, speak to him. No, no, grab his light, I don't care which. No, god damn it. Maybe we need to use the scythe to grab it this time. Right, I am prepared and I am waiting for you. Still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Oh, he's back again. Grab his light, Manny, quick. That soul has already been reaped. That no, Manny, I'm not interested in his soul. Reaped. I'm interested in his light. He's gone again. What can we do now? Oh, Gladys' head follows me. Hey, Gladys, do you think we'll ever get out of here? Do you think we're going to stay here until we die? Well, the joke's on you, Gladys. I'm already dead. Oh, he's back again. Just, just speak to him this time. No, 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 no. Amigo. Oh, thank God for that. Who? Oh, jeez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. Uh, we've had a little accident. I think it was self-inflicted. had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Well, I want the light, but I'm sure you're not just going to give it to me, are you? Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Steer away, away sea monsters, sea monsters yeah. yeah. I'm gonna I'm let it shine. Gladys, he said stay in key. Sea monsters, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna let it shine. Away, sea monsters, yeah. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it touch shine. Touch what? The light or you your virginity? No, I'm gonna let it shine. Well, surprise, surprise, we're back where we started. Maybe we should just take the light and run. I thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like you was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. And how long have you been marching around in circles? Take us to the Pearl. Take us to the Pearl. Ha! You 
don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Blah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. What's right there? Have you just been looking at your feet the whole time? Actually, that would explain why you've been walking around in circles this whole time. Oh, really? The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker. That's the moon. Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> if that's the moon, it's rather low, isn't it? Could we just take the light? Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> well, Glodus, just grab him. We could overpower him really easily. Uh, the eyebrows? What's wrong with his eyebrows? Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? Oh, these things protruding out of the side of his face? That's slightly disgusting, you crazy old man. Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Well, ask a stupid question and get a stupid answer, eh? Yeah, why have you decided to walk all the way across an ocean? Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicaba for a boat. Figured I'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? Because you'd also be stuck at the bottom of the ocean walking around in circles. How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. You must have died at a very young age. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. What's the problem with boats? They, they sink Manny. Like this one did. What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Because we don't all want to spend 40 years at the bottom of the ocean. Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We would started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. What happened in the end? What happened was, I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, never, ever go to sleep. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? Uh, yes, that friendly looking bunch. Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for him. <laughs> yeah, not in the he's mental sense, though, eh? Hey. Grab him, Glottis, grab him! I'm gonna oh, thank God he stopped this time. Hey, I just want your light. I don't care about you. Take him, Glottis. What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Manny, is that the pearl? Ooh I knew I'd find her someday. I'm rich, 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 rich. Shh, something's happening. Manny, what's going on? Oh, great. Now we have to deal with the Kraken. I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. Ooh, it is staring rather menacingly with its button eyes. There's no talking to octopuses. No, they're too tend to cool for you. <laughs> hey, Chipito, go for a swim, will you? You're drawing too much attention to us. Too bad. I'm sticking to you like the barnacles on my eyebrows. So don't even think of sneaking off with my pearl. It's not even a real pearl, you senile old coot. It's just a trap to lead sailors to their deaths. Ooh, it is rather unnerving how his eyes follow you all the way around. Ooh, what do we got over here? Barnacles? I don't want to get tangled up in those. No, but I'm sure we can get wee willy blinky here tangled up in them. Go on, just give him a nice push into them. No, you're walking away from him. Maybe I need to cut them off before we can get past them? I don't want to mess up my blade. 
I guess that's a no then. Come on, man, sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Our greater good, not yours. Oh, there's an area I can get to behind here. Yes, yes, follow me. Nice. Hey, Leo. Not that bright, are you? Although I have to say it's kind of a dick move doing this. See, she captures lost souls and gets them to dig in the mines. Well, let's hope our fate doesn't end up that way. Many? Don't ask, Carnal, because I don't know. Well, you know what? I think this is a good time to finish this video here for today. We'll continue playing again another time. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a good day.